Hi, this is Nancy from Nancy's Garden Soap Co. And um, today I want to do a quick soap where I'm going to be testing out a one ounce sample of fragrance oil. Um, it's a Christmas spice fragrance and it's by request. And I have a 20 ounce batch of oil and I am going to be pouring out uh, five ounces of water. I'm going to measure out my lye and it says I need 2.79. Uh, grams of lye. All right, so I have my other um, container here, and 2.79. I like to use a two to one ratio of water to oil. It's a great way to do a beginner soap. Um, I'm using 20 ounces, like I said. This is 2.7, 2.8 ounces. So I'm going to change this unit to grams and just confirm <clears throat> 79 grams. And on my chart of my soap calc recipe uh, formula, it says to use 79.17 grams. So 79 grams is perfect. <clears throat> now I'm going to be adding a little bit of sea salt to my water to make it firm up nicely which means I need to pause you. All right, and this here is my sea salt. It's natural sea salt from the um, Asian market near us. And I'm just using a teaspoon and placing it into my teaspoon. I'm going to put it into my water mixture. Stir it up real quick. That makes for a firmer bar. Um, and then here I have my Tessa Silk. So I'm just going to pull out a little tuft of this and stick it in, which is really difficult. It's really difficult to open these packages when you have gloves on, especially gloves that are a little bit too big for your hands. So I'm just going to pull out a little bit. It's a small batch. I'm just going to use a little bit in there. They say that Tessa Silk adds a luxurious feel to this soap. Um, jury's still out on that one, but I added in. Anyhow, um, it's just going to float on the top in there. I don't know if you can see that, but it floats on the top. And when I add my lye to it, <clears throat> it will then dissolve. <clears throat> Alright, so let's get this, these things mixing. So I'm going to add my, my uh, lye to my water. Just sprinkling it on. I like to cover up this the tuss of silk when I do this. And the water you hear running is me running water in the lye pot. So let me show you what I got here. Okay, it's the container starting to get warm. And as I stir it, there will be um, fumes that will rise. So I'm keeping my head well away. Sometimes you can see the the fumes coming off, I kind of can. Let's see. I don't know that you can see it. Let me see if I can move this back. Or against the black background, you can sometimes see. It's like a, a, a hot water vapor. Yeah, I don't know if you can see it. Anyway, um, so I'm going to stir this until I don't feel any granules down at the bottom or until the fumes get to me. And it's a nice day out today. The container's really hot. So I'm going to step back, pause the video for about 5-10 minutes, and let that cool off. Okay, it's been a few minutes, and uh, while we're waiting for that to finish cooling down, <clears throat> I want to measure out my um, fragrance oil and make sure that I don't have too much. It's a little Christmas spice container. Um, uh, and by request I'm trying to see if this is a mysterious fragrance that we've been missing and I need just about one ounce for this recipe so I'm going to change my units to ounces and I'm going to pour the whole thing in and that's a little bit too much 1.20 so I'm going to grab a disposable pipette Pull some of it out and put it back in. It's tempting to use the whole thing, 
but for consistency's purpose. Um, and also because I could use this tiny little amount to fragrance um, a, um, a lotion, a little bit of lotion. A little bit of fragrance goes a long way in lotions. Okay, so I've got my fragrance oil set aside. And I took my oils, um, which are a mixture of olive, coconut, palm, shea, and castor. And I put them in the microwave just for a little bit of time, just like one minute, so that they're barely warm, melted up. Um, and now I just poured out a little bit of this oil. I'm going to mix the color up for, I want to get a green color to use. And I don't have the right kind of green that I want. So I'm going to be mixing some of this yellow mica with some of this blue mica and see if I can get a green that's acceptable. I'm just going to take a little bit of this blue. Start with equal amounts. My guess is I will need more yellow in here than blue. It's not a happy green. Kind of a, a forest green. See that color? Alright, so I grabbed a different blue. This one is a luster blue right here. I'm going to add a little bit of this because I want it to be a brighter, happier green. Let's see if this will cheer it up a little bit. My kids are outside playing. You might hear them screaming soon. Well, happily screaming, jumping outside. I hear them coming closer to the house. Not a bad green. A bluish green, but it looks a lot happier to me than the other blue that I had, the green that I had. So that's about ready. Um, I got my fragrance oil ready. <clears throat> we set the scale aside and let's start mixing. So I'm going to add the fragrance oil directly into the, um, the oils here. And I'm going to tell you, the, uh, when you work with florals or spice fragrances, they tend to accelerate really quickly. So my goal is just to get this into the little containers as fast as I can. And on that note, I think I'm going to add my coloring directly to this now because I do think it's going to move quickly if this is anything like the previous one that was really a headache to work with um, unfortunately well fortunately or unfortunately one of my customers love the fragrance that pretty look at that you see the squirrels all right so let's get this all into here The cam camera angle is really bad. Let's try that. Is that any better? Okay, so the color's in, the fragrance is in. I got my stick blender ready. You might want to turn your volume down soon if you're sensitive to stick blending. <gasps> Look how pretty that is. You got to see this. Look at the swirls. Aren't they beautiful? The mica. Nice color, too. All right, so we can set you back up again. All right. So we pour in the lye. Looks like that's gonna fit. Put this in the sink where it's out of reach. Stir by hand just a minute. I do have a little hole in the side of this pitcher right here, which hopefully will not cause a problem. That's a long story about me collecting maple syrup, maple sap from my trees and using these um, measuring cups to collect. 
before I bought the actual tubes you need. All right, stick blending. Look at that, I knew it was going to move fast. Hey Soph, I'm recording. I'm recording baby. Alright, this moved really fast. I kind of knew it would. Um, I think I'm going to do my same technique as I did before. Um, I don't know if you saw my one that said volcano in the pot. I think I'm going to... I think I'm going to pour one of these and then... Maybe one or two. And then wait until it heats up. And turns to gel. And then I'll do the rest. Look at that. So I'm putting one in. I think this is why I dislike this fragrance, because the spice fragrances it might be nice to smell, but they move really fast. It was starting to thicken up at the bottom. Nope, I'm just going to let that sit. Alright, it is. 10.46. I'm going to set this up so you can see the time. 36. And let's see how long it takes for this to turn to gel. It's been one minute. I'm just going to wait it out because it's going to get so hot that it's going to get liquid again. That's my theory. I think for that to happen, it kind of has to stay on a solid mass. And I think I'm going to put a towel around it, try to keep it warm. It's been almost two minutes. Look at this. Okay, look, the spoon's going to start sinking because it's getting liquidy in there. And when it does, I'm going to move and pour this into the containers, which might be hard to catch on video, but we'll try. So I can get ready. See the spoon tilting? working. It might volcano. So if don't turn on the music yet. Look. Look, look how soft it got. It's, it's 10.49. See? Waiting it out. Trying to wait it out. Trying to get the outside in a little bit.
turning a nice dark green. It's 10.50. Stirring. I'm going to start putting some of these in. That kind of paid off, didn't it? Smells great. I uh, last time I worked with a spice like this, it seized up in, on me, and I think I just tried plopping it into the mold, and I didn't like the resulting soap. Though apparently it must have smelled really good because this guy wants more of it, and it's been years, and I've been kind of trying to search for the exact fragrance, and I'm thinking this is it. Here's the one that I poured first. See that? So it's it's turning darker in the center with a lighter outer part. Let's see if we can fill the rest of these. I was trying to do a, a, um, a batch that was big enough to fill all these cavities. So I upped it from 16 to 20 to 20 ounces of um, oil. And I'm not sure if that was quite enough. Sometimes soaping means anticipating what, what fragrances are going to misbehave on you. Um, and let me swap this out and we'll get the rest of these poured. If this seized up in the container like this on me, I think I would stick it in the microwave and get it warmed up again. The fragrance is really nice. It's like a, um, <clears throat> it's, it smells like cinnamon, clove, and pine is what I would describe it as. Christmas spice. I like the first one I poured best back here because it's so smooth and that's how I prefer my soaps to look smooth instead of a textured and looking at how much I have left here I'm thinking that I need to increase by my soap recipe by a little bit to get um, the, all of these filled. I did 20 ounces. I think I might need 24. The 20 ounces was nice because the way my soap recipe works, everything was nice, even numbers for making the soap. All right, I'm gonna plop these down. Somebody told me I should use a cookie sheet for this. I don't really have room for a cookie sheet right here, but let's plop that, plop that in. And uh, the rest will be the unmolding. So I hope that's it's 10:55. It's been. Uh, nine minutes about that and they're all in and I think I'm going to spray the tops I haven't been spraying the tops but I think I'll spray the tops with um, alcohol and try to get them nice and flat and smooth I don't know if that's going to work or not but I will see you once they are hardened and ready to be unmolded well it's 11:56 now and it's only been what an hour and a few minutes um, but I've already unmolded one of these they really firmed up quickly, so I'm going to try to hopefully get the rest of them out. They look a little rough um, as far as I'm concerned with the kind of, I prefer them to be really smooth. Um, but you know what? It is what it is. And if this is the right fragrance, it's a hard one to work with. And they just look a little bit more rustic than I prefer.
<clears throat> I didn't freeze these. They're still a little bit warm. And they look pretty good. They smell great. Little air bubble, not bad. <clears throat> that one looks pretty good. Let's try these other ones. All right, this is the first one that I did that I poured. Wait a second, Soph. This is. It's okay. It's okay. All right, so this is the first one that I did. Let's try to unmold that. There's a big hole. The air bubble. Came out all right. It's the middle of the day. My kids are up. I have friends over. <clears throat> mm, doesn't look completely mixed. You see the variation in color. All right, let's try this one. Usually, I cannot unmold soaps this quickly. Oh, this is just bizarre that. It solidified so quickly. That one was probably one of the last ones I made. And this one here. This one's got some yellow streaks in it. I don't know if you can see it on the film. All right. So overall, they lo don't look um, as perfect as I'd like. But I did expect them to accelerate. I like the color. The green is happy. Um, fragrance is good. I only tried out a sample of this. I'm not exactly sure. Maybe next time when I make these, I'd make them with full water instead of a 2 to 1 water to lye ratio. Do something like a 3 to 1 uh, ratio instead, and that might help. Um, I did. I think I was soaping kind of at low temps, so not incredibly low. But All right, there you have it. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.